And those recon flights give us crucial data that feeds our computer models, which I'll show you here in just a moment. We got a new one in live Super Doppler 4 showing heavy rain across the area. The start of what's going to be a very rainy night and a rainy day tomorrow and just the beginning of this storm system moving into Hart County, Clemson, Lake Hartwell, Lake Kiwi, Ducassie. We got steady heavy rain settling in up through Asheville, Hendersonville, Columbus and Rutherfordton as well. Really quite heavy. And as we look outside our sky cam from earlier, we lost power to it. I'm telling you, the winds have been strong in many locations and we know there's going to be more of this to come and this is just the beginning of it. 64 in Asheville, 73 in Spartanburg. We're going to wake up to those same temperatures, if not a little bit cooler and temperatures don't budge, but a degree tomorrow. It's going to be raining almost all day long. It may slack up and be lighter at times, but it's going to be pretty much a complete washout and all day soaking tomorrow. And that rain is going to set the stage for what comes in tomorrow night when the hurricane makes landfall and makes its way quickly into our area. So t temperatures tomorrow, low to mid 70s. That's it. So Hurricane Helene sits down here as a category one winds are at 85 miles per hour. It's going to rapidly intensify tonight and tomorrow, becoming that monster category four hurricane is expected to be when it makes landfall. Category four this time tomorrow evening, it's making landfall in Florida and then booking it our way. Now the cone is getting shorter, uh, not as wide every time we have a run come in and it's because the confidence is growing with where it's going. It, the wind impacts go out 360 miles uh, tropical storm force winds. Look at this. It's very near a hurricane crossing through Atlanta. Winds will be sustained at 60 miles per hour. That's the constant wind. You get gusts sometimes 20 miles higher than that. So 80 mile an hour wind gusts certainly possible in Atlanta. That puts 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts in our area as it's right outside of our area right here. Then it kind of meanders around back here through Tennessee. As we pull out a little bit, you can see the eventual track. We're on the dirty side. We're on that east side where it gives us the rough weather. All the computer models agreement with that. A big tight cluster right in here through Atlanta. Some take it right through our area. Others closer to Alabama. Either way, we're getting the brunt of the storm coming our way. And look at all this rain tonight and tomorrow. We'll wake up to that steady heavy rain. The system's still way down here. Tomorrow's going to be a complete washout for us with rain almost all day long. It continues into Thursday night when this system races to the north. I mean, it's off to the races here coming in and the worst of the storm arrives here 5 6 a.m. as it continues to roll through. We'll have some of the heaviest and strongest uh, rain and wind in our area at this time, 8, 9, 10 o'clock. By 11 o'clock, though, we're starting to see some breaks in the clouds and the sun is shining now by noon with the bulk of the system pushing up toward Tennessee and it kind of meanders around here through Friday afternoon, Friday evening. Some of you are asking kind of where does it go after that it kind of rains itself back out over Tennessee. It may try to meander back our way Saturday with some additional rain for the mountains up through Boone, but I don't think we get much in the way in the upstate totals here looking on the order of about seven inches on both of our reliable computer models through the next 48 hours. Let's look at one of those models. This is the high resolution model getting in closer. I mean, this, look like, this looks like a snow map for you. This is rain over the next 48 hours, folks. This is, you know, once in every couple of years kind of rain events. If you've had trouble with floodwaters, maybe near your house, but it hasn't happened in a few years, maybe you're thinking, oh, that was like 10 years ago. This storm system is going to challenge many of those drains, many of those, you know, light streams and creeks around town uh, to really go to some levels that you just haven't seen in a while. I'm, I'm afraid these totals could give us widespread flooding as we go into Friday, especially as far as winds are concerned. The new wind estimates are in. They show the storm uh, winds growing tomorrow by 11 o'clock into 3 a.m. We're 40, 50 mile per hour gusts. Look at 6 a.m. 60s showing up. We've even got some 70s showing up 7, 8 o'clock. That could lead to some power outages across the area by Friday morning. The four day looks like this two live Super Doppler 4 alert days. That means dangerous weather is possible or imminent. In this case, it's the strong winds and rain coming our way by Saturday, Sunday. We're clearing out lots of sunshine coming our way and a drier pattern moving in as we go into next week. Western North Carolina, same story. Two dangerous days, except for we're adding in landslides as a possibility there in the mountains.